Hey everybody, well, happy Friday. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to make a, another video that was, that actually had to do with the video I made yesterday about strengthening the lower back with the Superman and the Romanian deadlift, um, either super set segment or you could do, you know, three or four sets of one and three or four sets of the other. You know doing one doing the superman first and then the deadlift after or actually i would probably do the romanian deadlift first and then the superman after um if you were going to do it that way i just kind of made it a harder superset by doing the superman first and then the romanian deadlift after just because the superman is going to kind of tire you out in the romanian deadlift you're going to be moving a heavier weight so you would typically want to do a weighted exercise over the the body weight exercise at that point but again it's going to depend when in in your workout you're going to be doing them if you're doing them on a cardio day it might not matter if you're already pre-fatigued and you know you, you want to hit some higher reps with a lighter weight for some dumbbell squats which is great to throw in a cardio segment because of the fact you get such high um your your um, respiratory system really cranks up and uh, you know you really start breathing heavy and your heart rate goes up you know the fast squats are great especially when you add the weight um, so you know a little tidbit on that what I wanted to show you today is I know you know anybody suffering from a lower back problem a herniated disc you know I I wouldn't recommend this unless you're able to do pull-ups you know um, but for the people out there that you know sometimes you know when you're doing deadlifts when you're doing squats when you're doing shrugs you know when you're doing some of the exercises you know and, and you know you're kind of you know you're kind of hold on one sec i'm just gonna grab this bar here you know you're you're you know you have your setup you know and you're you're doing your shrugs now you know you can shrug up but you know really typically you want to shrug back so it's not necessarily up to the ears you can do that variation but if you retract kind of squeeze your scapula back in a retracted form and and squeeze it um, you're going to get a better effectiveness on that that was just a little off task thing there which is usually how i am why i had the you know bar in my hand but um so Needless to say, when you're doing these, when you're doing these squats and when you're doing the shrugs, you know, sometimes with the weight, sometimes you get sloppy, sometimes you jerk a little bit and you, and you get that little bit of tension, a little discomfort in the spinal column. I know I get it sometimes, uh, um, you know, in the thoracic or, or the cervical region, more so of the vertebrae, not so much the lumbar. Um, a little bit with the lumbar, but that's more from deadlifts and squats. And I, I try to do those variations I showed you to strengthen that. But what I wanted to show you is it, it's simply going to be a retraction. Okay. I, um, I, I'm sorry, a, a, a depression. Um, a retraction is actually when you retract back and a protraction is, is when you, is when you come forward. So if I was going to, um, say, uh, do a, a cable row, Okay, I'm going to I'm going to grab that weight. I'm going to retract back a little bit. I'm going to tighten up those lats and then I'm going to row keeping that tension with my with my back retracted. What I want to explain is actually a depression. And with a depression, all you're basically doing is just you're not going like this, but you're just depressing down. So it's it's barely even a movement. You're just kind of depressing if you can see it. I'm not moving this way. I'm keeping arms straight and I'm, I'm kind of just depressing down and going up. And you can start by doing those. Uh, you're going to feel it more up here, upper trap. Um, <clears throat> you can start with those first. Um, you can even add some, some weight, uh, some, you know, five pound dumbbell and, and, and even, um, depress with that too. Okay. And, and that's going to also help strengthen up here now what i like to do is i like to stretch the spine because obviously the vertebrae are sensitive 
Um, the discs are even more sensitive. You know, the back is fragile. You know, if you talk to any Eastern, you know, acupuncturist, Asian practitioner, a lot say weight training is horrible for the body because it breaks it down, which it can. You see a lot of guys all messed up, but it also can build it up if you do it with the right form, the right way, with the right progression. So there's give or take to that debate there. But what I like to do is, I usually like to take a narrow grip. Sometimes I'll take a wider grip, but I like to keep it narrow just because of the fact that I'm coming this way. If I'm out more, it's going to be harder. So I'm going to want to stay like this. And, sorry. All right, so I'm gonna to want to go like this here, okay? And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, you know, if I want to hold it to stretch the spine, you know, I hold it till I fail. You know, usually I count to thirty, but this is a great way. Obviously, you know, we all know this is a way to stretch the spine, but I do like to add that in um, as well. Now. Um, so let me get to the depression. But I also wanted to say too, when I come off the bar, I don't like to immediately go like this. I feel that if you come off and you kind of lower it slow, you know, like how I had just done when I had gotten off, you're gonna kind of feel the energy come down in a, in a actually um, very comfortable fashion and you're gonna eliminate any risk if your spine was tight or if it was tight from working out and you're stretching it and you come down hard and, and for some reason in that movement, it causes a little distortion, you're going to feel it. So I like to come down very easy. But basically, oh, let me just tighten my pants. I keep thinking they're going to fall. Sorry. Like I said, guys, I'm, I'm rolling in at about 115, 120 for body weight, trying to gain, but... I'm on the thin side, so all right, but let's get to the depression. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be like this, and I'm gonna and, and I'm gonna keep my head here and try to stop, and I'm just gonna depress. Now I'm not gonna go like this. I'm gonna try, and it's hard for me. These are difficult. I'm gonna try to keep it down and, and just one, and then two, and then three, and, and then four. And then so on. So I'm not lifting up, like I said, it. I'm just trying to, to press down with my shoulder blades without moving my arms or my shoulders. And I'm, and I'm trying to, and like I said, I usually start here and I just come down kind of slow and then, you know, that's it. And, and I, I <clears throat> try to, obviously I'm feeling it up top, but in my opinion, through looking at the spine, that chart that I showed you, and obviously knowing about the, the vertebrae, the spinal column, I feel that stretching from the bar, adding in those depressions, taking your hands at first, if you can't use weights, and then using weights, and, um, you know, the press, the press with the weight come up, the press with the weight come up. These are a little heavy, but I just wanted to grab them quick. Okay, and that's going to help strengthen you to progress to a better kind of, you know, holding, you know, kind of that variation of pull-up depression, if you want to call it, just hanging from the pull-up bar and depressing it. Doing it with the weight is going to also help you, strengthen you to allow you to do it better on the bar and also protect you furthermore from, you know, any type of, of discomfort or any type of injury that occur. Because obviously, like I said, a lot of times with the spine, it's, it's very finite in the sense that you don't notice. And many a times you don't notice that you've actually strained it until you bend the wrong way until maybe you hop on the bar and lift it the wrong way, or maybe did a deadlift the wrong way, you wake up and it's like, oh man, my spine hurt. You know, so you must have done something. So you like to try to work up with those variations. 
And then when you get good with your body weight, you know, you add a weight belt or a backpack or put some weight, on, you know, holding from your feet and then do it from the bar there and, and, and do sets of like, you know, you know, four to six reps to start. You know, you could do light and, and do eight to ten, but, you know, not crazy weight and not, you know, crazy reps. You're just you're just trying to, you know, you're just trying to strengthen your spine through through, you know, a way that's easy and a way that most people have. And if you don't have a pull up station, you can just get a door, um, you know, a pull up bar, that, uh, you know, the pull up setup that fits in the door. and You can do it right from there. So it's very easy. It's very practical. And it's very easy to at least be able to do pull-ups in the home now, especially with the door one if, if you don't have one of these. But I think these on an Amazon run, they're you know, 120 and up. This one I think is around 130 to 160. And then the one over there that I bought years ago, I, ended, I spent 250 on that and it wasn't really all that good. This one does the job just well. So I didn't want to ramble anymore, guys and gals. And new subscribers, old subscribers, people passing by. Thank you again, everybody. But, you know, just wanted to, you know, show you guys that. Show you, you know, show my subscribers and everybody that. And, uh, you know, it was just kind of spur of the moment. So I'm a little here or there. But appreciate everybody watching. You know, have a great Friday. Uh, have a great weekend. You know, as I always say, and I, you know, if I remember to say it again, God bless, universally bless. And for those that don't believe in anything, just, you know, goodness to you. You know, I mean, me, I'm the type of guy, keep an open mind. You know, I, I believe in God, but if the gentleman or the, the lady, um, you know, next to me, you know, obviously didn't, you know, believe or the gentle lady, I'm sorry, I was trying to think gentleman or gentlewoman, okay, so either way, you know, didn't agree, you know, I'm not going to look at them any different, you know, they're a human, and, you know, obviously when we go, we're going to know, and some say we already do, and some say we've been here before, and we come back till we get it right, I'm not going to keep rambling, that would be another topic, Probably be a boring one that everybody would know about. So needless to say, thank you everybody for watching. And, uh, you know, have, have a wonderful uh, weekend, all of you. Thank you.